I think you know what I'm, and I'm going to attempt to live up with the thing that has been talked about. But because uh, I think all companies, unless they become a startup now, are probably uh, going to be out of uh, business for very soon, because that's what was being talked uh, some time back when internet came about. I remember 2000. So you know. Um, I have put together a presentation. I'm not going to be taking long time. There won't be any death by Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is actually practitioner's view uh, for the uh, IoT and what are the challenges as of now. The use cases are, uh, you know, often seen and uh, and talked about. What I'm going to talk about, bit of a technology and what we need to do really to go forward uh, and do whole the thing, capitalizing the connected world is very exciting because everybody looks at different ways why there is so much of excitement all around. So uh, cyberspace is getting intermingled or married to a physical world and all the way of solving problem is getting changed quietly. You don't no longer uh, look at the whole thing as a information issue or decision issue. You look at everything as if it is an issue to be solved forever without continuous intervention. Second thing that I wanted to talk about, digital information dependent infrastructure is the key to, so I call it DD, uh, because everything is going to be, all infrastructure in all the, all the areas is going to be DD. Worldwide, IoT uh, is going to be about two, uh, $328 billion, large enough market by 2020, that's what is driving businesses towards it. India is going to be about 5% of this, about $15 million as per the NESCOM. And there are going to be large amount of services somebody talked about, about uh, $262 billion globally. And it will have hardware, software, business for everybody. That is why people are excited. And then the thing is happening is that all the telecom providers, you know, first time I heard Rajan Matthews beyond a spectrum. And it was fabulous. <coughs> So what's happening uh, is that there is a divorce between uh, the traffic and the monetization. So people are not paying for the traffic. Consequently, what is happening, networks are changing. There is a need for another business. And that's why IoT provides that opportunity. Asia Pacific is going to take lead in this. And consequently, all these applications which are currently there. By the way, this is not a new thing. The sensor-based decision-making or action is not a new thing. It has been, you know, AI, I, I did my uh, master's project. Japan Railway has already connected all the things together. It, the, the change, so what's happening? What, what are the change? The change that is happening is that it is coming in public domain. You know, something that was happening in privately in your house is actually getting out or your enterprise is actually getting out in the public. And we have to take recognition of that. And this is what, why everybody is excited about it. So what's happening technologically? The excess technology is actually coming in a big way to change. Wi-Fi has already reached 1.7 Gbps. So Wi-Fi is becoming you know, very important player in the overall IoT space. Nobody talks about it because this is free. And it is evolving in the ISM band. Second thing that is happening is that 10 raised to power 6 devices per square kilometer is what has been set by 5G goal. Of course, you will have a huge amount of traffic. Just imagine that so many devices will transmit the control plane traffic is going to be higher probably than the actual traffic that they will give. So the whole control plane has to be revived. It means you can have more connection over the same uh, thing to manage that. And all these devices need to be managed. So what's happening in GPON, for instance, it's going to 10 gig. Oh, fiber will remain fiber. Wireless will remain fi wireless. Their basic characteristics are changed. What is happening is that you will have 40 gig GPON. Uh, already 10 gig is there. We see that it has 10 gig WDM pawn. G pawn uh, will go to every home will have access to gigabits and gigabits. Every address will have gigabit kind of connectivity possible today. So the possibility of so access is getting hugely ready today. It's ready. 
the fiber deployment is going to be challenged the radio spectrum uh, is, is continuing to be challenged so important uh, considerations that are required for us to look at at this point in time is the extensibility whatever we have seen we were part of one business we had part of vision which was a static vision for at least for one, one or two years and once it comes in public domain the extensibility becomes very very important it means things will change every day the dynamics of whole change and networks is what we need to look at so changing society changing uh, rules regulations will be one challenge that you cannot live in iot and you cannot leave it because obsolescence will kick in very very quickly second one is the affordability country like india where we know what is the arpu within that arpu or maybe uh, you know i i did a bit of a research some time back i mean you can take up with the current income level also about 30 to 50% then also the affordability challenges are not solvable at this stage all the services put together how much a person can pay is the key challenge so make in india digital india like programs are becoming very important from the government side so that they make it available in one way or the other or create an environment favorable law enforcement and security by design is, is another uh, important thing that so it cannot be left that you know i'll put it later on monetization through service creation what it means is you know how will you you have network you put network sensors you put app you know how are you going to charge how is why will somebody will be able to play because new marketing will actually involve your not only what you are offering but how you are offering at what price point you are offering how many sensors you have put how people will compete in future on iot is something that we have to build standard are almost essential it is delayed in my view because i come from r r and d organization i see things happening haphazard way people are trying to monetize trying to create the the systems using whatever connectivity is available as of now so already standard compliance is is you no know, uh, you know silos will are not manageable uh, are not manageable actually not welcome and consequently standardization is necessary manageability is going to be key to the regulation so i pass a law saying that you know there won't be uh, you know barking dog more than 50 barking dog in your in your neighborhood how are you going to regulate what are you going to do unless you know what's going on consequently regulation will be only possible through the manageability which will be embedded in this standard involving indian startups i don't i won't talk government of india has already planned the first level of services uh, some people talked about it indian solutions for the indian problems uh, you know sometimes it might sound like key cliche but reality is that shareability of the infrastructure without that how do you bring down the price the vendor lock ins are the worst thing that can happen a standard compliant platforms are need of the hour now so many people got together so you have eight standard making bodies who have applied their mind who got the experience from japan america china europe india and uh, you know uh, korea all those guys have come about with a standard which quietly we are not even talking about i don't know why sometimes i get really uh, you know surprised see dot went around participated in the whole process we built this standard uh, along with the world called 1m2m 1m2m standard is wonderful i'll tell you why in a minute and that's what need to be really understood and propagated because you know everybody is creating silo one application when they set a set of sensors transport network stitched together somehow versus a common service layer which will actually allow all these to interact it means one sensor for all the application one application for all the sensors all possibilities so your your standard will allow you to discover those devices put security everything thought through okay device management all this is part of the standard service how are you going to charge how you are going to manage the communication across them so these are all implemented this practically available you can see outside what all hardware will be required what software will be required but you know looking at the smart uh, you know services perspective in the smart city you need to put sensors wherever they are necessary create a network of those and there won't be any single prescription like gsm only kind of scenario 
It could be anything. You know, you bring uh, sensors from wherever they are coming, get the data, get them to the common platform, create a network through using whatever network technologies are there, and then integrated IP-based core uh, network and applications on top of it to realize the dream of the, uh, you know, physical, uh, you know, applications and social applications and economic, uh, you know, goals of the smart city. Then uh, institutional goals, all of this is possible. The whole thing is that we have all of it available in India. Okay, C dot has designed the entire thing, you know, right from terabit router to all the way access technologies, everything is available. But we are still going to uh, some other countries to learn what's happening. Look here, create something. I'm very impressed this morning by these boys who are here. Just have a look. They have put on a uh, mic, a, you know, a stick, put two phones. They are recording everything. Then they could not get voice, so somebody went there and put a Bluetooth micro, uh, you know, a microphone. They have done the same job that has been traditionally done by, you know, all those heavy cameras. This is what is IoT all about. This is just one device. You will have many, many of those. I mean, have a look. I mean, I, I would have liked to talk to them. I took their picture when I was sitting there. This is what will de determine, you know, the future. Not, so startups like me and them, they, are, they have to come together. And I will do the tough job of creating platform. They will do a good job of creating businesses for themselves. And so, but what is missing? The new technology trends will require technological progression to be adopted. Regulation, which is fair, is what generally dis differentiates the newcomers from the entrenched players. Implication of and monitoring and control is essential because entrepreneurs will do anything to break whatever, uh, to get, uh, get their goals. Balancing act of desirable outcomes within the domain of control through the regulation, gentlemen, is what is required. Thank you very much. I appreciate your attention.